Magnesium has always been essential for human health and ionized magnesium is always involved in the interaction of more than 300 enzyme reactions and is important for electrolyte hemostasis, membrane stability, cell division as well as the generation of action potentials. Now, but if there is a magnesium dysregulation, it then mainly impacts the neuromuscular as well as the cardiovascular functions. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and I am going to talk about how critically low magnesium levels can impact ICU patients. Many previous studies have found that only hypomagnesemia but not hypermagnesemia is linked with an increased mortality. However, reports of mortality due to a magnesium dysregulation in the critical care setting is still controversial. To study this, a report in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India studied the association between the serum magnesium levels in critically ill patients on their admission to the intensive care unit and also studied its correlation with patients' need as well as the duration for ventilator support, the duration of the ICU stay, incidence of cardiac arrhythmias and mortality. A total of 246 critically ill patients who were admitted in the ICU setting were included. The serum total magnesium levels were measured at the time of their admission. Primary outcome measures was characterized as an ICU mortality, whereas secondary outcomes were the patient's need as well as the duration for ventilator support, the duration of the ICU stay and also the incidence of cardiac arrhythmias. Incidence of ICU mortality was found to be significantly higher in the group of patients with hypomagnesemia compared to those with the normal magnesium levels. Hypomagnesemia was associated with the need as well as longer the duration of ventilator support, also the longer duration of an ICU stay, higher incidence of cardiac arrhythmias compared to patients who had normal magnesium levels. Hypomagnesemia was an independent and statistically significant determinant of ICU mortality. Therefore, it was concluded that hypomagnesemia was associated with a higher mortality rate, longer duration of ventilator support as well as prolonged ICU stay in critically ill patients. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.